and welcome to another Daddy Jane Film that web.com video tutorial. Well, YouTube, I've finally done it. I've actually switched over to Windows 7. Uh, <clears throat> so this is my uh, brand new Windows 7 uh, laptop. Now, uh, from here on out, I'm going to have Windows 7 as my operating system that I'll be doing my tutorials on. So there will be a lot of uh, tutorials on Windows 7 and some tips, tricks, and other stuff like that. And I'll tell you them as soon as I you know, start learning them all and stuff. Uh, so uh, my first video on Windows 7 is going to be um, how to create a system uh, uh, repair disk with uh, Windows 7. This is a great little program that Windows 7 has and um, it automatically makes a re repair disk for you so that in an event of a system crash uh, all you have to do is pop this in and you know you can restore it back to your earlier time or uh, try to repair it uh, so that you won't lose all your files and stuff in, in Windows 7. Now um, <clears throat> there's also a way to do that as well in Vista but Vista don't I don't believe so I could be wrong if I'm wrong go ahead and let me know. But I don't think Vista has a create uh, a uh, create a uh, repair disk option. Um, so there is a Vista recovery disk that you can download and uh, download on a disk and use that. But right now I'm just going to show you for Windows 7. So uh, in Windows 7, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can type in um, you can type in System Repair into the search area and click on System Repair Disk, or you can go to uh, Start All Programs maintenance and then click on create a system uh, a system repair disk from there all you need is a blank DVD and stick that into your DVD drive from there uh, you just create disk that's pretty much all you have to do okay from there go ahead and name it as a Windows 7 uh, system repair disk 32-bit uh, then from uh, from from there whenever your system crashes or something all you have to do is pop that in and I believe you'll probably get this to come up you just select your operating system then click next and then you'll probably come here you can try one of these options like you can try to start up repair or the system restore which it will restore back to your earlier time when the computer uh, uh, was working okay or you can try one of these other options and see if you can get it working again okay now for you Vista users uh, Vista does have a Vista uh, recovery disk that you can get what you need to do is open up your web browser. Once you open up your web browser, go to Google and type in Vista Recovery Disk. Once you do that, you get a few different choices here. Now, uh, what you want to do, you want to click on the first one, which will be the Neo Smart Files. Uh, once you do that, give it time to load up. Once it load up, as you can see over here, it's, it's, they have a lot on this. So what you're going to have to do, you need to scroll down some until you get here and pick which one you want okay uh, now to in order to download download this you're going to need a torrent downloader uh, whether it's uh, MooTorrent, Ezreus or any of those other ones um, the one I've mostly used was uh, MooTorrent but I've heard great things about Ezreus and stuff like that I just never bothered to download it nor do I hardly use torrents that much anymore but uh, anyhow uh, you can go to uTorrent, download uTorrent, it's free uh, same thing for Azrius. I'll provide a link over here in the description for that. Now, once you download it and everything, uh, you need to go back to Google here and uh, type in Vista Recovery Disk again, um, and then go down here to where it says Create a Windows Vista Recovery CD. And then on this site right here, it will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to download it. And even got some pictures here. Uh, also, a, another good thing to have is IC, ISO Recorder. ISO recorder is a good ISO uh, recorder or burn an ISO file to your to your uh, DVD so you would also need that and I'll show you how to do it. it's real simple and easy as you can see right here copy the image to CD you'll have that when you right click on a ISO file and it'll take you to this image right here I just hit click on the next button and, and it'll begin the burning process and from there it pretty much explains more of what to do here English, that's on a, which I think what you'll probably be clicking on is like repair your computer instead of install because you don't want to install it. And then uh, pick the operating system and from there it uh, gives you some choices here. So anyways that's that's how you do that and uh, 
like I said, it'll take you step by step. Make sure you go here and read this step by step on how to do it. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you liked my first Windows 7 tutorial, uh, which is also kind of like a Vista tutorial too. Uh, so anyways, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.